Welcome to the August edition of the Tempo Storm Meta Snapshot. This month, buffs were bestowed upon the least played classes, Forest, Sword, and Dragon. Plumeria, Serene Goddess, was given a cost reduction, Aurelia, Glorious Saber, given an additional attack per turn when evolved, and Ante Maria, Huntress Convict, was given a new Accelerate effect, plus Drain on top of her Storm. Although these buffs weren't significant enough to threaten the top tier of Ghost Shadow, Crystallize Haven, Evo Portal, and Mysteria Rune, they did give their respective classes enough of a boost to be playable, making this month's meta somewhat more diverse than the last. Aside from this, the main shift has been an increase in the popularity of Crystallize, as more and more players have grown confident with the deck. Let's take a closer look at the top decks and their recent developments. Crystallize Haven is still around, and its game plan still involves playing at least five Crystallize cards to enable its Storm Ward payoffs, such as Sapphire Priestess and Wingy Chirpy Gemstone, building towards a massive swing turn with Diamond Master, all while hopefully drawing Skullfane the Defiled, which great accelerates its combo potential. The deck has fresh options this expansion thanks to Jean Worldwalker, who enables some simple OTKs. With time and practice, players have generally become better at executing the Crystallized Mulligan and game plan, and have also realized just how dangerous the deck is when going first, which means terror in no-ban formats such as ratings. Don't let the importance of Skullfane and the Go First card fool you, though. The deck has a deceptively high skill ceiling, which is why it's only really coming into its own now. Ghost Shadow is a highly aggressive deck that focuses on chipping the opponent down by summoning a high number of ghosts, then playing Masquerade Ghost past turn 5 to create a board that most decks find tricky to deal with. Late game, the deck can finish off the opponent with Ghastly Banishment, which deals huge amounts of burst damage once you've summoned many ghosts. Ghost grew in power this expansion thanks to the addition of Cerberus Howl of Hades and Hellfire Strike, which allows the deck to deal with boards it couldn't previously. Ghost was comfortably the strongest and most popular deck last month, but Crystallize has since taken its place, not because Ghost has actually gotten any weaker, but because Crystallize has the potential for more explosive high rolls, and more players have learned to play it. Still, Ghost Shadow remains the clear second best. Evo Portal, a combo control deck, can reach evolve counts never seen before, which is what allows it to take advantage of the tremendous payoff Shin enemy of chaos, once you've evolved 10 times, he will destroy 3 random enemy followers, deal 6 damage to the opponent, heal you for 6, and reduce the cost of all cards in your hand by 3 at the end of the turn. Needless to say, in more aggressive matchups, the healing and board clear is often enough to win the game on the spot, and against control decks, the cost reduction helps to assemble huge combos that can be used to OTK. With its deck lists largely standardized by now, Evo Portal poses a serious threat to any other deck if it can avoid passing away while building up to 10 evolves, which is why its biggest counters are decks like Crystallize Haven, which can potentially win the game as early as turn 7 going first. Crystallize's growing popularity has not been favorable to Evo Portal, but the deck remains solid enough across the board to remain in tier 1. Mysteria is a combo deck that revolves around playing the newly buffed Anne and Greya royal duo and OTKing the opponent with the majestic sorcery they provide. The deck's other key card is Mysteria Magic Originator, which can be evolved to change all cards in your hand and deck to Mysteria cards, greatly reducing the time it takes to OTK. The current build of Mysteria plays only a single copy of each of the key Mysteria followers, relying on tutor effects like Freya and Mysterian Exchange to find them all. This makes the deck extremely difficult to play, as one mistake can easily cost you the game. Although the deck might look average at a glance, the fact that it has repeatedly shown up in tournament top cuts and even recently taken a JCG victory proves that it needs to be taken into consideration and respected as a top tier deck. Fairy Forest is an aggressive deck that aims to go wide and push damage with cheap followers in the early game, transition into the mid game with Novelis Sable Lily Queen, then finish the opponent off with storm followers such as Shining Valkyrie, Tamlin, 
Fey Knight, and Arya, Dutiful Fairy. The deck has seen success here and there following the buff to Plumeria Serene Goddess, which has made it slightly faster and more consistent. The addition of another one-cost follower encourages a build focused on Castell, Budding Mage, and Arya rather than Philly. A copy of Carbuncle Sacred Emerald can also be included to enable some late-game OTKs. For those who are looking to climb quickly and easily, Ghost Shadow remains our top recommendation. Top tier strength-wise, easy to learn, and very cheap thanks to the Ghost temporary deck available in the shop, there's little to stop anyone from finding success with it, and its aggressiveness makes it easy to grind out many games. If you're up for sinking time into a deck with more challenging lines, Mysteria, Evo Portal, and Crystallize all fit the bill and are highly rewarding to master. Though in Crystallize's case, you may also have to become quite skilled at drawing the Go First card. So far, this month's meta has not been a huge shift from the last, with the same decks reigning supreme, but the balance changes have been enough to ensure Sword, Dragon, and Forest are at least playable, so no class is truly relegated to the shadows. Deck lists for the buffed classes haven't been refined yet either, so there is plenty of room for the meta to develop as players continue to cook, or even just as they gain experience with the decks as has happened with Crystallize. Watch out for developments in tournament play by following Ziff SV on Twitter, and we'll see you all in next month's edition of the Tempo Storm Meta Snapshot.